Hey you guys and welcome back to the channel. It's me Alana and watching some One Piece. The end of last episode was huge. We are going to be getting some new bounties for everybody, okay? And we're going to see who they're going to be naming the replacement for Big Mom and Kaido. So we're getting two Yonkos, okay, that are going to be named. Now, I already know that Luffy's going to be probably named the next one, but but who will be named the second one? That is what I am waiting for. I'm super duper excited. Somebody told me, I think in one of the comments saying, I can't just focus on the ones that were here in Wano when Big Mom and Kaido were taken down. Remember, there's a whole bunch of other people to, to keep in mind as well. So for that, that makes me more excited to see who they're going to be named. So on that note, I'm going to zip it and we'll just go ahead and jump right on in. Let's go. Gorose. What is this picture? What picture? Show me! They don't want to buy a no D? See, okay. Alright, so I'm really, really wondering what this D is is so scary for them. You know, like, well, why it's so scary for them. They are making a point to erase the D. More than likely they're referring to Luffy, right? Uh, well, that's what I'm assuming, okay? So Monkey D Luffy. But to me, like, why would that matter so much if it's just a D? We already, like, are supposed to be under this impression that the people with D in their name are these, these big deal people. But exactly why is it a big deal? I hope they further elaborate on that because this is just too good. This is too good. And for the connection between Luffy being a D, Law being a D, we have um, Garp being a D. So it's like these folks that are extraordinarily amazeballs have this D in their name. And for some reason, they don't want the D to be emphasized at all. For what reason, girls, say? Eh? Hmm? Is this going to be in some connection to Joy Boy? And probably what actually happened those those hundreds of years ago that you don't want people to know about. Fill me in. Give me the tea. <laughs> what is that? Gurnica. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't read that fast enough. From Gurnica Sama. Who's that? Is it already too late? It's the news. What you expect? They said cease this distribution somehow. Good luck. <laughs> he said deliver, deliver. <laughs> Yo, he's putting all the business out. Ooh. Oh, he is a menace. You can't stop the press, girl. Say. Dang, they got snapshots <laughs> on their ass. It's getting beat. They're so bold. Wow. Yeah, that was good. Exorbitant bounty of three billion berries on each of them. What the fudge? <laughs> Yo, that is a lot. They're excited, but that's gonna be a big target on their backs. Y'all better party up while y'all can, because as soon as y'all out there, mm -mm -mm, the world is not going to be your friend. <laughs> Sparkles! Where's Sanji? I'm surprised he's not in the kitchen. What? Where's everybody? Oh, Jinbei. Where's everybody? They went to party. They said, we're going to the festival. Yakisoba-takoyaki! I love garden candy! They said, we eat festival food. 
<laughs> Everybody likes free. Look how much taller she is to Luffy. Candy apple? He got two. So does Luffy. Ah. That's not how you do it. Come on, Chopper. Show her how it's done. Champion! <laughs> He's so stinking cute. Bruh! Put on a concert. It's like Kumurasaki. It's gonna be a remix. Remix? <laughs> I'm glad they're all having a good time, especially after everything that has happened. Oh. Are they still going after Robin? Kokeshi dolls? <laughs> he was confined? Okay, he's been called Tengu san. Does he have an actual name? I am curious about him. It was just a mask. Kozuki Sukiyaki, former shogun of the land of Wano? Sukiyaki? Huh? So he's in relation to Momo. Then, what the hell you been doing, sir? Why you been hiding, sir? Your grandchild? Yeah, your granddaughter? What you been doing hiding out there? What the heck? Why not? Damn. How did he break free? I thought he said he's not saying nothing. So how would they know about that? Oh my gosh, I hate when they do that. Scrappy men here. Hey, King. Like, Ew, he is funny looking. I thought he was gonna be cute. I thought they he wasn't supposed to do anything. Queen, <laughs> Queen is probably over this shit. Well, that was a dodge. And what's gonna happen to Kaido's men? He ain't fought forever. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been fighting for how many years? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't beat his ass again. He already got his ass beat. <laughs> Let him go. Let him go. If you're really enjoying this reaction and want to see the full uncut version, please join me over on Patreon. There you'll have access to all the shows you see here on YouTube and the Patreon exclusives. And don't forget before you leave to comment, like, and subscribe. Ooh. He must have like a plant fruit because we saw him with a flower and now we're seeing him using wood. Oh, he stabbed the asses. King, you better get away. You too, queen. You already beat up pretty bad. I'll tell you what, Queen be nimble as hell. <gasps> oh, I jinxed him. Okay, is it wrong for me that I don't want King to be taken? Don't get him, don't get him, don't get him, don't get him! Damn! You see that crater? Hold on, why is it gleaming purple? Is it sucking out their life force? 
Hey, shriveled up! Those are like roots. Those are roots. Yeah, he was supposed to be doing this. Was he? He likes a kind of. He's coming for Luffy. This is not going to be good. I want to see Garp's um, reaction. Luffy. He's so humble. Nice. Yo, Luffy, he may be kind of Luffy, but he got his moments where he is wise. <laughs> what? <laughs> he wrap his arms around him. <laughs> Kid is like, I'm trying to get you, and you over here making me party. <laughs> Let's get loud. Let's get loud. Uh uh. <laughs> Jimmy's partying by himself. Y'all deserve it. Y'all been like oppressed for 20 years. Of course. That would have to be a holiday. That's so pretty. This is so pretty. The visuals are very, very pretty. Luffy, Nina. Arigato. I knew it was coming. <laughs> ah, get him on! Yes, he got his lady with him! <laughs> <laughs> he dropped his alcohol. <laughs> Did he get named Yonko and now Kid wants the Yonko title so he has to take him out? Buggy? What the? The genius. <laughs> when has Buggy ever been a genius? What? What did it say? What did it call him? Buggy the Genius Jester? Are we talking about the same man? <laughs> In no damn way he's a genius. But okay. Blackbeard teach. Boo! <laughs> That is insane in the membrane. What is Shanks gonna say? I wanna see everybody's reaction to Luffy becoming or named a Yonko. A buggy? Oh, he's breaking the grass. Blue flowers. Uh oh. Uh oh. These petals? Do these flowers have powers? Can we just relax, sir? Go about your business. Ugh. All right, beautiful people. So we just had our Yonkos be named Teach, Boo, Shanks. We have Buggy and Luffy becoming the two newer Yonkos. How did Buggy pull those strings is the biggest question of the day. I am going to see how did he make himself a Yonko or, or to be named a Yonko. How does that even happen? I, I'm so confused about that. Luffy, I understand. He took down Kaido. It makes sense. But Buggy, what did he do? <laughs> <laughs> 
a genius? Are we talking about the same guy? Anywho, I love how Luffy had said to Momo, like, don't tell anybody. Um, Momo, you need to, you know, show yourself to be a, a strong leader for these people. I get it. That was very, very noble of, of Luffy. But this guy that's coming, it's like, why? Why? Why are you here? I mean, I understand why he's here, but it's like, let these folks rest. They just got out of oppression. They let them party. You over here trying to be a W downer. Ugh. I should have known also when Kid had like ran off that there's a reason why he was running off. It didn't dawn on me until a little bit later um, that he was probably trying to get to Luffy so he could take the Yonko title from Luffy. I should have known better, but I don't think right now is the appropriate time for that kid. And it, wouldn't it be dope also if Kid, Law, and Luffy all became Yonkos eventually? That would be so dope. Because I want, I want um, Teach to be beat up so bad. I feel like his days are limited. His days should be limited. I don't like him whatsoever. But yeah. Oh, also, what's his name? Sukiyaki. How are you hiding? And I understand he said he's the reason why Orochi was able to take over um, Wano. I believe we kind of got that story some episodes ago, wasn't it? Um, when Orochi could ha like was like um, kind of like setting his his little. Um, setting his seeds in. So was that the sukiyaki? He's just old as hell now. Cause he said he was Odin's daddy. So he's the reason why. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch those episodes. Cause I think um, we kind of already got that bit, and I just have to remember exactly, you know, if that's the same person or not. But I think it is. I think sukiyaki was was yeah. I think that is. Hold on. I thought sukiyaki was dead. So yeah, I thought so. All right, it says Orochi and his family um, imprisoned Sukiyaki in a hidden room in the palace and told the populace of Wano that the Shogun had passed away. I remember they said that he had died. I wonder if um, Fudgen, how did he get away? I wonder how he got away. Because he said he would when he escaped, he didn't look as old as he um, as he did now. And I don't think it was ever stated. I don't remember. No, that is. I hope they explain how he was able to escape as well. If I'm forgetting something, y'all let me know. But y'all know how my brain be turning and stuff like that. I, I'm re I'm ready to hear this. But yes, you guys, thank you so much for watching this episode with me, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Thank you.